I'm Robert Gray, or Bob Gray, and I'm Professor Emeritus in the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences. I taught for 49 years. Well, I was hired in 1967. I made sure that I could stop here on the way back, but in order for me to be on the, the plane, and not pay, I had to be in my military uniform, which was my commander's outfit. So I fly into the airport, and the only person to meet me is Pat Huglin. Pat was, well, the, wasn't, a, wasn't called vice president, but we'll call him vice president. So here I come out in my full Navy uniform. He, he meets me, and he takes me into the office, and we start talking. And it's about 15 minutes into the talk. He says, I don't give a damn about anything. We want you. <laughs> you know? And it was like, you know, wait a minute. I mean, I had never taught in my life, you know. Uh, and, I, I, you know, I'm uh, in the wrong outfit, you know, and all this. Absolutely. You're our man. And our first classes were held in the old, I call it old, the administration building, but it was the old building up in the second floor. And it was smaller. I remember it to be only about three or 4,000 students at the most. And I met with Ramsey Parks of the Marine Tech and Bob Profont of the uh, biology. And we put together the C Grant proposal that started the Marine Tech and the oceanographic tech programs back in 1967-68. At that same time, um, we developed the five-day field trips in our department, which became the core for the major part of our department, one in the fall and one in the spring. 1975, we changed it to the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences. In the early days, we were absolutely crushing, building our department, uh, trying to absorb all of these programs that we had. And most of the programs were successful. Um, as programs go, and as development of programs, the environmental studies program, the geology program, the astronomy program, the geography program, all been now fully developed. So we're very proud of, of getting through all that. Uh, geology is a field orientation. Astronomy is a different field, but it's a field orientation. Uh, geography, to some degree, is a field orientation. One of the things that we had in our geotechnician program was a field course, mapping course learning how to field map. And that is rare for a two-year program. We would, would probably consider the summer field camp um, as a favorite place, partly because you're with the students like 12 hours mapping. You're not just stopping at a place. You're in the field constantly for the 12 hours. But the main reason is the beauty of the Kuyama Badlands uh, the, the age of the rocks there are, are from about 16 million to about 10 million. There are a lot of megafauna um, of that era, uh, three-toed horses, camels, uh, peccaries, a variety of different uh, other animals that, uh, of fossils we've unearthed. The reason I'm telling you this is that in my will, I've asked that the ashes be spread over the Kuyama Badlands. So that gives the answer to perhaps one of my favorite places. I'm very happy that I was able to be part of and put together one of the best community college earth science geology Shawnee programs in California, and to have the success of our students 